I'm here with Paul Redmond after his successful Polaris debut against Craig Ewers. How did that feel? I mean, it was only, uh, you used to be just doing this on the Dublin regional scene and now we're uh, to the, one of the biggest international tournaments. How did it feel? It was good. Um, it, Andy texted me there a while ago, about eight weeks ago, and just says, fancy doing Polaris. I was like, yeah, sweet, you know me. Uh, but, you know, it's something to train for where there was nothing sort of uh, happening over this side of Christmas. Um, yeah, and I really enjoyed myself out there, you know. What is it like, you know, because obviously MMA is your main thing, but as you know, it's, you train a lot of judo, you train a lot of jiu-jitsu. What, what does this feel like to you in terms of, uh, com in comparison to MMA events? Like, I mean, does it have the same kind of anxiety and, and stress as associated with it, or is it easier? Uh, that's really enjoyable. Like, you know, there's no nerves, there's no fear. It's fun. It's, a, it's actually really fun. I'm not saying it's, uh, MMA is not fun, but you got the weight cut. You got you got to get extra runs in. You got to get uh, more constraint condition. You got to worry about getting smacked in the face. <laughs> you know. So w that's the big thing for, for anyone that for the MMA guys coming to jiu-jitsu. You're not getting them elbows. You're not getting them punches. So it's it's just like a, a gym session. I had fun out there. Really had fun out there. My only thing was I probably didn't warm up enough in the back. So my first two minutes I was a little bit slow. I was just breathing a little bit heavier and. You know, I me mean, and not unfit. Then come the second sort of half of the round, I was, I was picking up steam and he uh, just died off a little bit. So. You have obviously got a lot of great uh, judo black belts um, in, in Team Rhino, and obviously Craig's a very, very good, ho highly decorated judoka and Brazilian jiu jitsu player. Yeah. Did the likes of Andy and Robbie uh, Brennan uh, help you for this kind of. Andy, Andy was like, uh, look, just this is what he's going to do. And he did it to, to the more or less to the letter. You know, he says, he might pull guard. He's going to come out, grab two on one, motorcycle grips on the wrist. He did it. Um, everything that we were expecting, he down to the letter, you know. Um, he actually did a really nice and I didn't see it didn't see it coming until the last second. Uh, I was sort of he was setting up a Kamara. He was probably setting up the armbar, but he was in the Kamara position and did like a big back step over into an armbar and I only copped it sort of just before he sat into it and I was just managed to free up. So uh, yeah, that was probably the close his closest attempt at sub submission. Uh, I probably was, I was on the toes and the feet uh, maybe once or twice. I got a nice cartwheel pass into an e bar and um, probably just should have been able to finish it a little bit better. But hats off to Craig, you know, he's a really tough competitor. You said at the start of this interview that you know you were more than willing to take this fight because you had nothing on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Is that still the case? Because I'm hearing a lot of rumours about a Bellator show in Dublin in February or March. Do you can't. <laughs> 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 no, nah, uh, yeah, um, I, I don't know the exact dates or anything like that, but there's something confirmed from on my end anyway. Uh, so I, I was throwing the name, said yeah, within a minute, uh, I just texted and said this for the after offer and whatever. Yep, yeah, let's do it. So uh, there's a date, a name, and yeah. That's and a location? Oh, I would, I would imagine so. Like, they're not going to fight in Donnymead Car Park, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm sure there's a location, but I haven't told you. Yeah. Is it exciting to finally get this moving? Because obviously, a lot of people thought it was going to kick off in December, and, you know, everyone was very excited about that. Is it? Is it? Are you, are you excited to get this going with Bellator? Um, oh, yeah, like 100%. Uh, you know, I want to hit the ground running there. Um, but then, if I, if I had something on there, on, I think it was meant to be due. On Friday, just gone. Uh, the show was meant, meant it was meant to be on yeah. December seventh. So if I did that, I probably wouldn't have done that, and I, I'm glad I did that. You know, so it's just something different. I know I'll, I'll do that after I finish MMA, so it's a good uh, um, way to just kick it off now. You know, so I'm happy all though. So that is, this is something that you'll uh, you will kind of explore in the future. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, I was training ten years this year with Andy um, from doing nothing. So uh, I would keep doing jiu-jitsu and stuff like that uh, long after I'm doing MMA, you know. Uh, it's probably the only way you'll get me into a gym to, 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 to try. It is, but I'm not one for like sitting there doing three sets of 12, boys have calling up, but I'll go do five classes of jiu-jitsu a day, no problem, or whatever you want me to do, because it's fun, it's enjoyable. And it's one of the best workouts out there, so I'm happy. Thanks very much, Redzer. Thanks for that, PT. Cheers, Cheers man. Ugh.